Equipped is a quality improvement program. The acronym stands for Enhancing Quality of Provider Practices for Older Adults in the Emergency Department. The program involves a multidisciplinary group of providers and initially started as a collaboration at the Atlanta VA between a provider in the emergency department and an investigator in the Geriatric Research Education and Clinical Center, or GREC. Older adults are a growing segment of the population, particularly in the United States, as the baby boomers continue to age. We'll have a larger number of adults who are over the age of 65 years and also the growing number of adults who are in the very older range of 85 years or older. Older adults live with multiple chronic conditions and because of those multiple chronic conditions they are often taking multiple medications. We know that in 2013 more than 19 million visits to the emergency department involved older adults. More than half of those older adults are treated and then released back home from the emergency department. Almost two-thirds of those persons who are released from the emergency department leave with a new prescription. Providers in the emergency department are trying to make decisions quickly in a fast-paced environment and they need tools to help them make safe prescribing decisions for older adults who again are often more vulnerable to the side effects of particularly a new medication that's being added to that mix of drugs they're already taking. We identified that providers in the emergency department needed additional tools to help them make safe prescribing decisions particularly for older adults who are being treated and then released from the emergency department. Melissa Stevens is a hospital medicine faculty member working at the VA Medical Center. She does her work in the emergency room setting. In that setting she deals with a lot of veterans. Many of those veterans are older. And so one of the things that she was realizing in her clinical work was that our prescribing patterns for older adults dis discharged from the emergency room were not as good as they could have been. Sometimes they got medications that were not as safe as other choices. She applied for a FAME grant, fostering the academic mission across Emory through the Department of Medicine and received funding for that grant in order to pilot some work in this regard. So Melissa was really a thought leader in the emergency department. She was a clinician who is fully active down in that area and her ideas about how to better prescribe drugs for elderly persons was based upon her interest in geriatrics some information in partnership with other people in the geriatric section. And so she had an idea that she could educate other providers in the emergency room about better prescribing, that she could make it easier to prescribe safer medications, and that she could give feedback to folks about their prescribing practices so that they would know whether or not they were doing better or worse than their peers. So we designed the equipped interventions based on what we knew had worked in other programs in the literature. We wanted to combine things that had been successful in other projects to come up with a multi-component program that would give us the best results. We developed three interventions for equipped. The first was education, which consisted of didactic education as well as academic detailing for the ED providers. The second intervention was electronic decision support, so we created within the electronic medical record order sets to assist providers in choosing the safest medications at the time of discharge from the emergency department, but also included links to online sources that could provide point of prescribing education for the providers. And the third intervention was individual provider feedback. So this consisted of monthly reports to the providers showing them audit and feedback of their own prescribing practices, as well as comparing them to their peers, something called peer benchmarking, where they could see how their prescribing compared to other providers in the emergency department. Equipped is active in eight VA emergency departments. We started in the Southeast in Atlanta, Durham, and Tennessee Valley. We've expanded to the Birmingham VA, the Bronx VA, and in the last year we've expanded to Central Alabama and Asheville, North Carolina. The Equipped program over the last three years has impacted over 40,000 veterans treated in these emergency departments, and the first four sites to implement the project have, we now have results from those sites, and we've found that in all four sites, there's been a significant and sustained reduction in the use of potentially inappropriate medications at the time of discharge from the emergency department. That averages out to a reduction of about 50 potentially inappropriate medications per site per month. 
The EQUIP program has been very successful in the Veterans Affairs system, the VA health system, because of support from the Office of Geriatrics and Extended Care and the Office of Rural Health. We also have had support from the Johnny Hartford Foundation, which has supported a development of a grant to take EQUIP from the VA setting to non-VA hospitals. We have an application in to look at taking it to Grady Memorial Hospital, to Duke University Medical Center, and to Mount Sinai Hospital at Icahn School of Medicine, which have all been affiliate sites of some of our VA program sites. What this means to older patients and to older veterans is that when they see a doctor, when they see a provider in a site of care, they're much more likely to get a better medication, a safer medication. The older individuals in our country get a lot of medications. We want to reduce the number of medications that they get and provide them safer alternatives. And this program does exactly that. The results from this trial in the Department of Veterans Affairs are generalizable to other settings. We have applied for other funding from other sources in the federal government to execute these trials in settings outside of the Department of Veterans Affairs. It's got the great potential to make medical care safer for older adults.